Hi, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. Please make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can participate in a little video project of mine. And uh, this is the wig. I'm going to do a pop art look. Obviously, this is a wig. And I wanted something really vibrant and kind of cartoony for the hair. So this is just a really cheap costume wig. Nothing expensive. It was probably $7, if that much. Um, I was going to trim it, but I think what I'm going to do first is do the makeup and then trim it because I'm going to have the hair kind of brushed to the side like this. And then you may be able to see all the details in the makeup and I won't need to trim it. So um, let me gather some things together and we'll get started on the makeup. Okay, so I have my regular day-to-day -day makeup on right now and um, I'm not going to take it off. I just sprayed some of it off with like when rubbed it off with that wig, but um, not sprayed. I don't, <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to lay down a luminescent uh, primer and see if that gives me kind of what I want. So I've got this Yenza, it's a, a essential glow, it's um. a nice color but I'm just gonna rub this all over my face and neck wherever I'm gonna do the pop art stuff is where this is gonna go and that's gonna include my neck because I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do any neck stuff and uh, I think I will I think I'm actually gonna even draw on a dress yes that will be fun I'm gonna do that so actually, I need to go get uh, something strapless on. Okay, so um, I got that luminous stuff on. So now I'm gonna start with, uh, this is pretty much gonna be black, the details, the lines and stuff. So I'm gonna start with the eye, well, let me get my, oh, my mirror's right here. So I'm just using this to get a basic idea of the brow. Then I'll fill it in more conclusively with the body paint. And with pop art looks, once you, once your pen or your liner touches your skin, you don't want to lift it up. See, like I messed up right here. I'll be going over that in um, black paint anyway. We're gonna draw a dress on here, so we're gonna get some cleavage going. Cause I'm gonna draw the dress. I think it's gonna come down there. Just my little cleavage. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, shoot. I got this beautiful teal, teal in my Maron palette. And so we're just gonna follow where, where I put the black down at. I'll probably do two, oh shoot. Now I'll probably do two coats of it.
Now, while I wait for that to dry I'm, and then add another coat, I'm going to go ahead and start the lips. And I'm really just going to use a pink body paint on my lips. This pink right here. And I'm going to line them in black, but before I line them in black, I'm going to just kind of get the general look I want. And yeah, that is super light, so I'm going to have to go over this a few times, probably. I'm drawing outside of my natural lip line to really kind of make them plump up. Now I'm going to let that dry, do the other layer, or do the other, um, <laughs> another coat of the, um, the teal over the eye. It really is a beautiful color though, but it does need a couple coats. But you want to make sure it dries completely between coats. And then once everything is dry, I'm going to outline the lips and the eyes in black to make them pop. And I may even, in the bottom, I'm gonna line with white and then underneath it with black. These colorful looks are really some of my favorites, even though I'm not really good at these, but you know, I need to practice in every area, so. And see, that's kind of messy, so that'll be lined in black to not only clean it up, but to make it pop out some. Pop out, pop out, hence the pop art, which I don't really know if that's what they mean by pop art, but that's what I mean by it. I love doing these makeup looks because, you know, I can be who I want to be, do what I want to do, doesn't matter. Although, I mean, I'm perfectly happy being myself. Now, I have me a super fine brush for the black lines. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the brow. I like to start in the middle and work my way out and then around and then I can wisp on some lash. Okay, so now I'm going to try and wisp on some of these lower lashes like that. Yeah, I think that's better.
All right, so we're gonna do another coat of pink, let that dry, then we're gonna work on the inside of the lip with some white for highlighting and more black for just kind of, uh, because it'll look good. And then I may need to outline again in black also, but I think this looks awesome for my first attempt at this kind of a look. I mean, I've done pop art looks before, but nothing quite like this. I really made the nose look crooked, but that's because I'm gonna pose this way. Then it looks good, right? See what I mean? So we're gonna let those dry. Some highlighting with just regular highlighter. Oh, and let's talk about the, the pet project I'm doing. I'm inviting people to send well, that was fun. Okay. Uh, that brush just landed in um, wet paint, so I can't use that anymore. Um, so I'm inviting people to email me pictures of them with their pets or just their pets with, uh, and if they have a channel, information about their channel. Um, and then I'm going to incorporate them all into videos for a um, little project just to share our pets and, you know, for fun. Okay, so now we're gonna take some white show, highlight the lip, you know, a little bit. So we'll speed this portion up because I heard a lot of people like to see the painting sped up. So we're going to speed this portion up and I keep getting scooched over that way. Hold on. Now, I want to try the kind of sporadic white dots you've probably, uh, you might be familiar with in a lot of pop art, there'll be dots all over to kind of make it look more comic booky. But I think I'm just gonna do like a series of them. You know what? I'm just gonna use the end of a brush and see if that works. Yeah, that'll work. is like because it's supposed to be like a comic book look so if you went and looked in comic books you would notice that a lot of the the undrawings have these kind of dots in it and that's kind of where I'm going with this I mean I've seen them like here let me see if I could show you well like like that see all the dots and stuff okay let me uh, put the wig on and assess the situation. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. That's sort of better. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Um, kind of a messy pop art look, but I love how the lips turned out. So anyway, this was just another one of those where I didn't have anything planned and wanted to do something. So this is what I did. So, um, 
for my pet project, I would like to invite everyone to send me photos of them with their pets. You can send up to three. If you have a YouTube channel, tell me what that YouTube channel is and I will shout it out in the video. If you send me a pet picture, you are guaranteed to make it into the project. I don't know which video it will be. It will just depend on how many submissions I get. My only um, request or the only requirement is that you are subscribed to my channel and um, that I'm going to feature you in these videos. Um, if you do send more than one photo, do let me know uh, if you want them all in one video or if you want me to spread it across the series and if I get enough photos, then I will make several videos. Um, so there'll be more instructions down below and they'll, if the video hasn't already come out, it will announce in it. And um, I'm gonna give everyone till like April 15th to, to get those pictures to me. And if I don't get enough, hopefully I'll have enough for at least one video. But if I don't get enough for one video, that'll be pretty pathetic. Come on guys, you love your pets, right? Um, you wanna be featured on my channel, right? Even though I don't get that many views, but I will eventually. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope that you are all staying safe and have a great day, night, whatever comes after the time you're watching this video. Thanks so much. Bye.